hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see how you can use divider in flutter so let's start as you can see here inside our app i have two widgets in my column so how you can use divider so you can simply write divider like this and now let's just save our app so as you can see we have a little bit of divider so when i hover over it we can see we have different properties such as height thickness color so we will see one by one so let's give it a height for suppose we'll give it a height of 30 so now as you can see we have a little bit of height that is the spacing between these two widgets is increased so let's just change the color first so we can see our divider so for colors i'll give color colors dot let's say a red okay let's just save our app so now you can see a divider a very thin divider between our two widgets so what we can do is we can simply use a thickness property to change its thickness for example let's give it a thickness of 10 so you can see it properly so as you can see here we have a divider with thickness 10 so let's skip it a thickness of 2 okay so this is the thickness of 2 and what other properties there are other properties such as indent and end indent okay so let's write what is indent indent is the amount of space empty space in the leading okay so let's give it an indent it takes in a double value suppose we want to spacing from here that is let's give it a value okay so let's just save our app so now you can see here we have a little bit of spacing so you want to give the spacing from the end as well so you can use now end indent and let's give it a value of 20 as well and now you can see we have a spacing of 20 from both the sides so this is how you can use the divider so this is the vertical uh, horizontal divider so how you can use a vertical divider is let's just create a new example so we'll use a sized box for a little spacing we'll give it a height of let's say a 30 and now what we can do is i'll take a row and inside row for its children's so to remove these red lines we need to remove this const and to remove these blue lines we can add const before each of our widget like this const we'll add it one by one okay so now what we can do is inside our row i'll take an expanded widget and as a child i'll take our new widget with text in a value of text so let's give it a text as let's say a row example okay so like this we'll simply add const as well here and now what we can do is i'll simply go ahead and copy paste the same example inside our row and let's just save our app so now as you can see here we have a row example here are our two widgets and we want to give a divider in between them so how you can give is you can use a divider called vertical divider like this okay it has the same properties as dividers as you can see here thickness the only difference is it takes in a value of width that is double not height as we are giving it inside our row so for it as we'll give it a width of let's say a 30 so now as you can see we have a little bit of spacing between our widgets let's change the color so we can see it let's give it a colors of let's say a purple or let's just say a deep purple let's just save our app okay so still you cannot see it why is because you need to give it a height to our vertical divider so what we can do is basics is let's simply wrap our vertical divider inside sized box okay and then give it a height of uh, something let's say a 50 
okay so let's just save our app so now you can see we have a visible vertical divider with the height of 50 inside our row let's just give it a height of let's say a 60 so now you can see the divider so let's change the thickness using thickness property and let's just give it a thickness of 2 let's just save our app okay so it also has the properties which are indent and end indent for example indent let's just give it a value of let's say a 20 so we can see we have a 20 spacing from the above and from the below end indent will give it the value of 20 as well so you can see we have a spacing from below so this is 20 20 and the height is 60 so the remaining is 20 as well so here is the 20 okay so now what we can do is we can we will simply remove this and let's just save our app so this is how we can have our vertical divider inside row in flutter and this is how we can use simply a divider widget inside a column to have such type of examples okay so hope you found this video helpful to like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video